My sales on eBay have been really slow over the last few weeks. I have been racking my brain trying to figure out why my sales could be so slow. And last night as I was laying in bed, it just came to me. It was like a vision. I figured out the reason why my eBay sales have been slow. It's this one simple thing. I can't believe I didn't think about it before. I'm going to tell you about it. And if you do this, I can almost guarantee you that you'll see a huge increase in your sales. Before I get into it, I need to tell you what is not hurting my eBay sales. Number one, the economy is not hurting my sales. Check out my video about eBay sales and consumer spending. The short answer is the economy is not hurting your eBay sales and it's not hurting my eBay sales. Number two, my promoted listings rate is not hurting my sales. I logged in the other day and I saw the rate that I'm promoting things at and I saw the rate that eBay is suggesting I promote things at and I thought that maybe eBay knows something that I don't. So I tried to raise my rate up a little bit and it did not help at all. I immediately lowered it because I was just giving eBay more money and it did not help increase my sales. So you can take a look at your promoted listings rate, but I don't believe that it will make or break your sales and it will not cause a huge influx or or decrease of sales either way. And number three, I did not need to do another end and sell similar. Sure, I do use it as a strategy in my business to end all my listings and then sell similar. It does give you a nice boost, but it is not a permanent fix to slow sales. But what I figured out can be. I thought I had exhausted every single option. I went through my list. I was crossing them all out. Nothing was working and I did not know what was wrong. And then it just came to me. I haven't been listing on eBay. I feel so stupid now. Over the last few weeks, I've gone out of town. I've spent more time doing videos. I've gone on vacation. I have not made time to list on eBay. It's the biggest reason why your sales are slow and why my sales are slow. I think that many other sellers, including me, and maybe even including you, fall into this trap. You'll search everywhere for answers. You'll look under the rock over there, um, search under the cupboard, under the couch cushions for why your eBay sales could be so slow. And the answer is just staring you right in the face. You haven't been listing enough on eBay. I prioritized listing this past week and my sales improved tremendously. I've got some tips for you if you're struggling with listing enough to hopefully help you get back on track and improve your sales. Number one, and this is probably the most helpful thing you can do to list more on eBay, you need to set aside time every single day to list. For me, I do it every day when I get home from work, Monday through Friday. I do it at the same time every single day, and I list the same amount of items every single day. When my sales were slowing down, I had not been keeping up with that schedule. We were out of town, we were on vacations. I'd be lazy and I would just go home and watch TV or something. So I was not keeping up with my schedule, but you need to set aside time in the day to list items on eBay and stick to that schedule and build that habit. And that's the biggest way you can get more items up on eBay. Number two, you can improve your processes and list more efficiently, including the time to scan, set up listings, title and research prices, I can have about 50 postcards listed in one hour, but I did not start out that way. It would take me hours to list 50 postcards. I would be sitting on the floor taking photos of postcards, and I would list every single one individually using the eBay mobile app. It was probably the least efficient way I could be listing items on eBay, but I looked at things I was doing wrong, and over time, I improved processes one by one, so I got a scanner eventually. I started using a desktop computer to list. I created templates. So look at every single part of your listing process to see areas where you can improve. How long does it take you to photograph or scan your items? Are you listing from a template or creating new listings for every single item? Do you reuse descriptions, business policies, and item specifics to be more efficient? Do you know exactly where to research what you sell and research prices? For me, I know I check eBay listed, I check Terapeak, I check WorthPoint, and I know exactly what I'm going to do if I can't find any good comps on those websites. So make sure you have your pricing research down. And you go down rabbit holes and end up taking 20 minutes or longer on one item. I am guilty of this. I did this the other day, actually. I had a postcard of Knoxville, Tennessee, or around Knoxville. It was the University of Tennessee's foot tennessee football team's training camp and it was from 1928 it was super cool i had never seen anything like it and there was no comp like it so i went down a rabbit hole i was on like the university of tennessee volunteers website reading about the team i went to wikipedia and was on there for like 20 minutes just reading about the history of this 
practice field or whatever it was but i don't want you to not go down those rabbit holes but if something like that comes up maybe just write it down or take a note on your phone and just come back to it later after you're done listing because you can be much more efficient if you don't let your listing process get interrupted by those rabbit holes one last note about the rabbit holes they can be good if they could increase the price you sell your item for but if you already have your price dialed in you probably don't need to do any more research on it number three is know how many items to list per day. Different sellers and categories will need to list more or less per day to maintain a certain level of sales. Postcards are slower sellers, so I know I need to list about 50 postcards every single day to keep up the pace of my sales and to be selling the amount that I want to be selling every single day. But that might not be true for every category. If you sell in different categories that sell quicker, this number could be much lower. You might only need to sell five to 10 items per day to be happy. If you're turning over your entire store every single month, I would suggest just tracking how much you're listing every day and how much money you make on those days that you list and get a number that you're happy with and try to increase that over time because you can always list more and it's always good to list more rather than less. So what if you don't have enough to list? This could be a problem for newer sellers or maybe you just struggle to source inventory. It's very hard to list consistently if you have trouble sourcing or finding inventory. Now, most resellers I know do not have this problem. They have a huge backlog of items or a death pile to list. But if you do have this problem, there's no secret trick or anything you need to do to secretly source better items or more items. You just need to work. So check online auctions more, go to more antique stores, thrift stores, yard sales, and estate sales. Not everything is gonna be a hit. Not every place is gonna be a winner, but after you go to a lot and do it for a lot, you'll know what works for you and what type of items work for you, and you'll get down a system and you'll have sourcing down pat. Are your eBay sales down? If so, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think it is and why they're down. If you plan to list more, let me know that too. We can help keep each other accountable. But thank you so much for watching this video.